Hey guys, welcome to Mixed. First, I want to start off by saying I so appreciate all of the support we've received on our channel. I've noticed all of the new subscribers, all the likes and comments, and I thoroughly appreciate it. As you can see, we've recently moved. Also, I'm expecting again. And so I've just been really busy and I haven't kept up with our YouTube channel, but I'm sorry. We're back. I have a lot of ideas of new content that will be coming out. And today we're going to talk about how I protect her hair from swimming pools. All year long, I try to keep her hair healthy. We wash her hair no more than once a week and sometimes not even that frequently. And we have a whole regimen to kind of keep her hair healthy and growing. And then summer comes along and we go swimming all the time. And there's lots of harsh chemicals, particularly chlorine, in swimming pools. And I've had to figure out a way to keep her hair healthy while also allowing her to be a kid and have fun. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm not a professional, but I, what I've found works for us. And I think it would work for a variety of hair types. I know when I was a kid, my like my hair was really blonde and it would turn green in the summer and we would just wash it all the time and my hair could tolerate that, but her hair can't. And I think it would have protected my hair as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. <laughs> So I'm going to start by wetting her hair. My theory behind this is that the hair is similar to a sponge and if it's already wet with clean water then hopefully it won't soak up as much of the chlorinated water. So now that her hair is wet I'm going to Put a lot of conditioner in it. I, you can use any conditioner. I'm using Aussie Moist. I like how it smells. It's cheap. I'm going to put it all throughout her hair. I'm not going to be stingy with it. I want her hair to be covered in the conditioner. The theory is the same. Hopefully it will soak up the conditioner and the conditioner will protect it from the chlorine. As with everything I do, I'm always going to pay attention to her edges, so a little bit of extra conditioner there to make sure they're not forgotten and they're protected. Now I am sectioning her hair into two sections. I'm going to do two ponytails. This is just a style that I know will stay in the pool. If your daughter's hair is longer, you could probably get away with one ponytail. Now the hair will be very slippery. These will not be perfect ponytails. The goal is not for it to be perfect. The goal is for it to be protected and that she can have fun in the water. So now I'm going to braid the ends of her ponytails. This is to keep her hair from getting tangled up while she's playing in the pool. And then I'm going to just twist the braids into buns. And again, this is just to keep her hair from getting too tangled, hopefully, while she's swimming. And here you have the finished product. She is ready for her day of fun at the pool. So now I'm going to show you what we do after she comes home from swimming. I'm going to take her hair down in the tub and then rinse out the conditioner that we had put in her hair before she went swimming. Now I'm going to wash her hair using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo from Shea Moisture. I think you can get away with just conditioning her hair and rinsing that out, but I actually wanted to make sure I washed all the chlorine out 
and it had been a few days since I washed her hair so I decided to go ahead and just wash it. This shampoo I love but it will dirty up your bathtub I think from the Jamaican black castor oil. Now I'm gonna rinse that out and then follow up with a deep conditioner. Now before I apply the conditioner, I always squeeze out excess water from the hair. Today I'm gonna use the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Conditioner. I've used the Three Minute Deep Conditioner quite a bit, but this one's actually their new line just for curly hair, so we'll see how we like it. I'm going to kind of halfway section her hair out to make sure that the conditioner is evenly applied, but honestly, her hair isn't that thick. If your child has thicker hair, I would make sure to section it to apply the conditioner. And then I'm going to just comb her hair with the wide tooth comb to detangle, but as you can see, her hair did not get super tangled from the pool today. Like there's no knots. So I think, if anything, the braids and buns really worked. So it says to leave the conditioner on for three minutes, but I always just put it on at the start of the bath and then just leave it on at the end of the bath, I rinse it out. So here you can see I'm rinsing out her conditioner. And then I don't like to use a towel to dry her hair. This is just an old raggedy shirt that I have and that helps prevent frizz and damage to the hair when I dry it with that. So now I'm going to show you our routine for after we wash her hair. I always like to start off with the Shea Moisture Restorative Smoothie, I think it's called. And I like to apply it to all of her strands, but I don't apply too much because her hair is very thin and soft and it will get weighed down with too much product. So I kind of fork it through with my fingers and then scrunch her hair a little bit. Next, I'm going to use my favorite product of all the products, the Ali K Naturals 17 oil blend, I think. And as you can see, there's something called horsetail powder in it that you wanna make sure you shake up. I don't use a lot of this either, maybe a dime or a quarter size amount, and then I massage it into her scalp, which she actually likes, she thinks it feels good. And then once I'm done massaging it into her scalp, I also scrunch it into her ends. And lastly, I add a curls, Goddess Curls Gel, I believe it's called. And that I just scrunch, 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 and scrunch some more throughout her hair, making sure I get all of her strands. And Lillian likes to scrunch her hair as well. She's not even three yet but she's already starting to take part in her own hair care. Now lastly, like I said, I always love to protect her edges, so I put a Jamaican black castor oil, this one's by Shea Moisture, but any Jamaican black castor oil just along her edges to help promote growth. And then I massage that in gently. So this is our finished product and honestly I think her curls look healthy, no damage at all. So I'm pleased with it. Hey. I hope you enjoy our video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Say like, comment, and subscribe.